It just doesn't make sense. Our heroes had the fire. They had the heart. They had fought on Earth. And they had fought on water. And with their powers combined, well, something should have happened. But it didn't. Hey, who just broke wind? Oh, man! Don't tell me that shiny dude is in here. Yep, Your he is. Combined, I am Captain Planet. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Gonna take position down to zero. He's a power magnified, and he's fighting on the planet side. Captain Planet. Alright, good evening guys, uh, welcome to my thoughts on Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion Extra Large, or Extra whatever, XL. Um, so this is a 3DS game ported to the 360, uh, it's like a month or two old now. So, I rented it simply for the fact that I heard that it's like a Smash Brothers game, and it's also easy achievements. So I didn't really have any expectations going in, I mean, like, I heard, I heard the talk, like, everybody was saying it's... It's really bad, really glitchy game, and eh, I'll get to that. But for now, welcome to my video, and I will start with story. All right, so if you do not know, this game is a crossover fighter. Um, it's basically taking all the Cartoon Network worlds and bringing them together for several different reasons, mainly because their worlds are getting destroyed. So start off as like Ben 10, and then you like start um, you start going from world to world, rescuing those heroes and. Basically, you fight them first because they're kind of like e in evil mode. They don't really explain that, but yeah, they're they're in like evil mode. You save them, they join your team, and then next time you start a mission, you can select between those characters. Um, and it goes. That's basically the the general idea for the entire game. Um, they're pretty early into the game though. Your first group of people gets up to like five people. Then you actually go over to another world, and you start playing as another group of characters. And then they eventually meet up with each other, and then they start traveling in one big pack of people. Then you can choose from like 20 people at a time and stuff. It's pretty sweet. Um, as for the story itself, there is no like development between the characters, there's no plot twist, there's nothing like that. It's a fairly standard, just, I guess, comedy story. Um, it's not really serious or anything, so don't, don't go in expecting too much. It's just there to give you the reason to go from place to place. Um, Alright, I'll say that there are 26 characters, pretty good. Um, the only problem I had with this game personally is there were too many new characters I don't really remember, like... I've heard of Chowder, but I've never watched it. I've heard of Flapjack, but I've never watched it. Um, then you have some old school characters like Johnny Bravo, Captain Planet, uh, Powerpuff Girls, stuff like that. I think there could have been a lot more older Cartoon Network shows, like, where's Courage, and like, where's... Uh, shit. Like, where's Courage, where's, uh, Added an ID. Like, you know, there, there could have been a lot more variety. So I'm not gonna approve of the story just because it really wasn't a story that changed as the game went on. It was just it was just a narrative that moved you along. All right, uh, going on to gameplay, it's I guess we would call this a, a platformer beat 'em up. Um, if you played Super Smash Brothers Brawl, it, it basically copies that game mode perfectly. Um, what I mean by this is you go from world to world, allowing you to select more characters as you go on. And uh, basically, they copy the percentage life system, where every every attack you get hit by gives you a certain percentage. The higher your percentage, the more likely you're going to get knocked off the stage easier. So, um, it does copy Smash Brothers quite well. It works pretty good, uh, but it doesn't quite feel as depthy as um, Smash Brothers. I mean, there there are the same type of attacks. Basically, in Smash Brothers, you have Standard attacks and special attacks. Special attacks and standard attacks are where you... They, they basically differ whenever you push in a direction. So, like, if you do special left, you'll do a move. If you hit special down, you'll do a different move. And so on. Um, the, the, uh, I don't know. It's it's okay, but the moves, they just didn't feel as good as they do in Smash Brothers. Um, there isn't much difference between characters. A lot of them have, like... When you do their special over, it's like a dash. When you do their special up, it's a rescue, a recovery, and then if you hit down special, it's just kind of like a hits everything around you attack. 
Um, in Smash Brothers, there was quite a variety of different like skills and moves that you can do with just the simple left and right and up and down moves. So I'm not gonna say it's as good as Smash Brothers in terms of gameplay, but um, unlike Smash Brothers, there are different portions of the game. There's a part where you go first person mood and you have to use like a cannon. There's parts where it's kind of like worms where you have to like calculate your catapult and then aim it in a certain direction. Um, there's there's a couple side scroller shooter like shmups level shoot 'em ups. Uh, yeah, there's qu quite a variety in level design, but for the most part, you're pretty much just running from left to right, killing enemies. Um, okay, on small little like and dislike for gameplay, there there's a real it's really fast, right? Like, it feels a lot faster than Smash Player does to me. Um, this is because it's actually running at 60 frames per second, I believe. And on a downside, there is no online with gameplay, just offline four player. So that, that's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. Um, I'll approve of gameplay just because it was pretty fun, just blowing through this game in a couple hours. Uh, Alright, sound. This is by far the worst part of the game. Alright, so starting off, there is no sound in this game. Okay, you go into options, you have sound effects, voice, and music. You can hear the music, but for sound effects, it's you can faintly hear it in the background if a lot of stuff's going on. But otherwise that, you don't hear punch sounds, you don't hear you getting hit sounds, you don't hear special sounds, like, you don't hear any sounds, besides little minor sounds occasionally. That's horrible game design. Why would you do that in your game and not fix it before shipping it? So, putting that aside, um, the voice acting is pretty average. They didn't use every voice actor for the characters, but they did use most of the original voice actors. Um, and the OST is mediocre at best. So I'm not going to approve of sound. Really guys, you couldn't have fixed that audio glitch before shipping. That's just, that's horrible. That's one of the worst things I've ever seen in the game. Not that I really want to hear the sound effects, but it's just, it's very disorienting when you're like punching guys and you're not hearing anything and you're getting hit and you're not hearing anything. It's a very different experience. Um, so getting on to my likes and dislikes, there are a variety of characters, I like that. As for the dislikes, um, I already touched on this where the sound effects, they're not really there. And also, not every cutscene is voiced, so that's a pretty big bummer there. Um, I mean, I, not that I really want to hear the cutscenes, but I just, I don't, I'm not playing an RPG, I don't want to read text, I want to listen to people talk. So, that, those are my dislikes, not too many, but I don't know. So getting over to my overview. Um, what did I think of this game? Uh, I'd say it was a pretty fun game. I mean, it could have been a lot better if they polished up the gameplay a bit more. But, I mean, it, it, I, I could imagine in co-op this game would be even more fun. It's a shame they didn't have online co-op either. But, I say, rent it. Otherwise, yeah, buy for pretty cheap. I, would, I wouldn't buy this game at full price. Or, I wouldn't buy, I'd, I wouldn't spend any more than $30 on this game. Simply because it is an easy 1000 and, and it's a pretty short game. You're not really going to get much out of it. So, uh, those are my thoughts on Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion. And uh, if you made it this far, you're pretty cool.